Hello and welcome, I'm Bebo Joe, and this is another season of Work Ascent Resources of the Republic Season 8. We're gonna play with all the hard settings that include maintenance, research, and trash. Obviously, we will play in realistic mode because that's the fun one. And this may be the most complete season that I get to play because there are no other huge features, huge game-breaking features in the roadmap. And that means I'm actually gonna finish this one. I'm really excited for that. So what are we gonna do? First, we figure out a map. There are a million great maps on the workshop, but mostly because water and sewage is a pain if you play on any of the nice workshop maps that have good mountains and all that stuff going on, we're gonna play a random map. Um, I will make this available once uh, I get started and uh, you should be able to play this map hopefully very soon. So. What are our settings? Just normal realistic mode, set the start of year to 1960, research I have enabled because that's fun, um, maintenance I have enabled, and waste management I have waste and demolition. Everything else just normal heart, we have heart money and all those things. I don't like playing on populated maps so we're not going to play with that. All of these I'm just going to play with until I find a map that I like. I think the, the default settings are totally fine, but you do what you want to do because this is a game for everyone. And here we are. This is our map. Our map looks like this. Didn't go crazy on the water. I didn't go crazy on the mountains. I didn't go crazy on the hilliness. But we have everything we need. We have more than enough space to do field work. We have a continuous river that we can use to export via ships. Cool. We have a bunch of big bodies of water that we can also use to export via ships. So all of that should work and be in our favor. I have no idea where any of the resources are. <laughs> None, no clue, which is great because that means we can start building without that um, bias. Yeah, let's gonna call it that, bias, that's the one. Obviously down here are the new things, waste is here, research is hiding a lot of stuff and more importantly, research is hiding a lot of your big money-making industries. None of the engineering industries are available. Can't even do steel. Uh, no bauxite. We can't do the oil refinery. We do have pump jacks. That's nice, but a lot of stuff is just hidden, so you can't actually do it, and that is fine with me. That means we get to play a different way, and everyone can play their own style, especially once we get to research. If you're curious when you want to start, go down here to Mr. Pavlov, what research is there to research? We have the Medical University, Technical University, and Palace of Communism. So your research is not just stuck in one place. That is awesome. But you should probably consider uh, what you want to research before you start building too much, especially before you start building your first university, to figure out what you want to do. Um, I'm not going to go through all of it, but there are a couple big ones. For example, power exports to NATO or to uh, Soviet uh, countries. Uh, you have to research that, but it's a relatively long path that also unlocks steel along the way. Uh, same for foreign pipeline connections. That's pretty neat. Um, radio is hidden. This is geology. This is all the resources that are in there. Obviously, there are a lot more research pieces in here. Uh, recycling is in here. That can also make you money, but you have to unlock it first. Um, this is uh, uh, secret police. Um, to actually figure out what you need to do for loyalty, and then radio and TV is up here. Uh, airports, ho hotels, and tourism, and then here maybe one of the bigger ones, distribution offices are locked behind this. And there's just a lot more. I like distribution offices. Offices They help you get started, um, but not anymore. And then re uh, recycling can actually help you with a lot of other things because you can turn your trash into money. You can turn... Um, foreign countries trash also into money. So there's a lot to do here um, And I think those are the two I want to concentrate on first We will see which university I will start with but that's my thought right now I'm not sure that I'm actually gonna go there or not. Where are we gonna start? I looked at a couple options here and you can uh, choose whichever one you want, but I like the one up here and Here's the first thing that I will tell you playing with waste will overload your customs house a lot faster than what you're used to. And I know we already all complained about the customs house being overloaded way too often, way too fast, way too, way too, way too, way too. That is totally fine, but trust me, it's getting worse if you don't treat this with respect right away. So that's what we're gonna do first. 
Um, let me make a save so we can actually get back to this in case I screw up, which I will. Uh, season 8, episode 1. There we go. Cool. Um, so, first things first. Where are we? There's a little body of water here. I think this would be really nice for um, our sewage or something to go in because this should be far enough for everything um, that, that, we, that we need. There's another body of water here. I'm not sure that we're going to use that. There's a tiny space here right next to this border post, but also in reach of that NATO border post, which may or may not be helpful down the road. Um, so I'm considering putting some industries in this general area. I'm, I'm, I'm making some plans here that are probably or maybe not going to come to flourishing exactly as I want them to. Um, but I'm still making them because that is that is the fun part. Let's get started. Uh, the first thing I would say is build a road and this road needs a relatively high capacity for vehicles because it is part of a border, uh, border post and we will not have rail for quite some time um, here in the beginning. So we have to make sure that our road network, whatever we have here, whatever we're building, is going to be able to keep up with uh, the traffic that will be on here. And I hope this will help. I really just hope this will help. So yes, we're gonna start with Dirt Road. Obviously we're we're paused. We're starting in uh, February 20, <laughs> 23rd of February, the first day after snow, in case you were wondering. And I'd be surprised if we get a city up and running in the first year. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be very marvelous, actually. So we'll just see how stuff goes. But this is our starting road. I, because we are next to a, a big customs house, highly recommend to also go and get your first rails connected. But I have a I have a plan here. This area right here, I think we can turn into a really good um, collections point for many different reasons. Um, one of them is for um, all our construction materials, but also city demand materials things like that and because this is a, a triple triple rail customs house i will plan on exporting here once we have rail set up and going and worthwhile so there's a lot of stuff that will go on here uh, down the road that's just how things usually work so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna assume um it will just act the same when we get there so what i want to do is figure out what what, what I need to place, and I really like this cargo station as part of this initial rail, rail hub, rail yard that will go in there. And I'm just going to put it somewhere at an angle here, because one of the things that always happens is this. If I put, um, how do I want to say this? Oh, yes. If I put the rails too close to the road, um, the road won't let me cross it anymore, and then I have all, all, all sorts off problems that I don't want to deal with anymore. And this hopefully lets me avoid that type of issue. Now, is this what I'm doing right now a good idea? I honestly am not 100% sure, but hey, you live and you learn. Um, I've never done this before, and this is a vanilla asset. We're only gonna play vanilla. Uh, you will see non-vanilla workshop vehicles, but I'm not planning on using them because there were so many new things added to the, the vanilla game that I just would like to, um, you know, keep using it. Are these way too long? Probably until I get a train that's too long for whatever I built there before. So yes, this is what we're gonna do. Um, my plan is to just use the left two lines for more or less the normal, um, normal border traffic and the right four for the advanced like distribution office traffic is that gonna work i hope so <laughs> i would like it to let's put it that way i would just like it to and that is fine don't know if you know this but in realistic mode when you are very much in the first month you can use free landscaping and that's the only time you get free landscaping at the very beginning until you have your um, excavators available that can actually do something. So be aware of that. Um, let's do this as the last thing. I guess I would like to come out just a little bit, probably. Do I need to come out a little bit? No, these are these are relatively long, um, long stations already, so we shouldn't have to come out. Let's make this a little bit straighter. There you go. 
And then you get the gist. I will just connect these guys as needed to whatever's going on here and then get a couple more rails uh, going into these. Or maybe just a single rail. I don't I, I don't know yet. Um, but we will figure that out once we get to um, get to enjoy this whole setup. So nice. Um, that's just my first starting point, and that is just there so I don't forget. So let's just assign this and say, okay, start A. Start B. We need to unload the customs house, especially since we only have one in the vicinity. The next one is, could have just looked on the map, it's past the river. So we need, we need a bridge to get out there, which is not going to happen right now. So yes, we have to unload the customs house, which means have dedicated trucks or vehicles go to the customs house but not every every office that you have so we're just going to have some collection stations out here uh we're just going to start with the standards and we're not going to build all of this right away but we will need them meat storage there's a new one in vanilla cool but that one's too big for what i want to do here so this one's totally fine i don't know if you can tell but the factory connections do have one directional access now um, I think that's cute. It's necessary for some of the waste um, behaviors, however you want to do that. So it makes perfect sense. Um, but I'm not sure that we're going to use it anytime soon. Eventually we're going to use it, but right now uh, we're probably not going to use it right away. But that's fine. Let's get that one in here. Let's get... I, I guess I don't need the regular warehouse because this one has a rail connection. I don't need that right now. So let's find a different warehouse to build. Um, the size is good, 520. Um, 560 is probably the one that we want. Let's get you, I think something like this is just fine. It doesn't have to be perfect here. So just, just let it happen. Okay. Right there is good. And then, uh, let's get a cargo station in there. These three buildings, this cargo station and, um, the storage that we have, or the two storages that we have, that are probably the only buildings that we're going to build out of this batch, which may or may not be a good thing i i don't know yet but we need it we really need this uh setup and the setup has to work let's do the standard kaya trick where you build a better junction that lets your trucks drive a little faster i'm not going um 100 exact here but let's go out there let's go out here and um and if, if you've heard it from someone else besides kaya maya I'm, I'm sure there has have been people um, that we're doing all of this beforehand, but that's why I uh, saw it and just uh, saw it and heard it described the first time So I may as well call her out because in my mind that's what she did So yeah, that's connected now We have a way to get to the customs house and we have a way to get to whatever is down here. Cool first setup done um, The next thing we can probably start working about some construction here um, Yeah we should, more because at some point it will be very important, and there was one thing that we actually have to worry about really, really early on, um, which is gravel, but the other ones are not without either. I'm not going to build the free ones. The free buildings are just not up to the task because they don't have factory connections and they are so slow because of that. So we're not even gonna try to go there. Now I have to ask myself, do I just, do I want to use just the open storages or do I want to add a cargo station to it? And I don't have a full answer for that, which means I think we're just going to use two cargo stations and call it good. Yep, you kind of fit right next to each other. Come on, a little more. There you go. Um, and then we're fine. Now, now we have a couple more open factory connections for stuff. Don't know what I want to do with them yet. They could be, or I guess we have like... 12 over here <laughs> i don't know how many we actually have um but this could be for waste or could be for a couple other things i i don't know yet i haven't made up my mind on that piece at this point and um i think that is okay let's get a little bit of road in here road will become much more important than what you're used to uh just because um the, the waste trucks that you're adding that that got added to the game are adding so much traffic to everything it's, it's a little ridiculous. Uh, what, what are you? No, let me. Okay. It's a little funky. A little funky road that you have going on here. Um, but that is fine. There you go. Just a little snake. Didn't like it. <laughs> Didn't like it. Can we do this a little better? 
not really. That building is in the way. You're still there. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna hold ourselves here. Um, Hamuda can do an excellent work at making things pretty. It's not really my forte. I try it every once in a while, but hey, you gotta know what you're good at too. Now, we have a big spot right here for doing something. I think that's a good spot for a distribution office to exist once we get there. Um, obviously, we're not ready for that yet. I don't think we need that much run out there. Okay, and then you, really? You can't just, you can't just come out here, straight line, and then kind of connect to that. There you go, that's all I wanted. Yeah, no, distribution office here makes sense because it just does. And we can even put a couple of free ones in there if we want to. We should start putting some construction offices down now. <clears throat> just because that... Well, they will have to start working here relatively soon. And we're not just going to... Um, well, do things. Vanilla added a couple bigger ones and a couple smaller ones if you want. I think I'm going to use the 16. Um, the size 16 construction offices. They seem to do just fine. And... Um, happens to fit in here, which is wonderful. Um, let's get one there. Let's get another one here, and then they can figure out how they need to do stuff. But 16 times two um, is a pretty good number. Let's get some batch con deconstruction um, signed here because I kind of want to start on something while we're waiting for other things to actually happen, which up here is the place where to do that. Um, temporary let's call it construction camp, can go out here. And then at some point we're gonna remove this for something much more important, probably industry related that will be here. But right now, put your construction offices right next to the customs house because um, shortest distance to the source is the shortest distance overall for your vehicles. So that's what we're gonna do here. I'm just gonna do four. Um, that gets us 16 vehicles that will fill up a one of our um, one of our construction offices when we're done, and it's not going to cost too much. Distribution office obviously is something that we need uh, because we will start getting f or needing fuel here in honestly just a second. So we're going to put that here. Try not to build too much in front of your um, cableage. So the electronic power connections will be required here very, very soon. Um, okay, we got all these connected. Let's see what we need to build. First, uh, we need a covered hull, for sure. We do need the open hulls, but I would like to try to fit them in a place where we also have excavators or um, bulldozers. Well, we're, we're going to have one bulldozer and two excavators, um, but not here. Um, dumpers or there are more things. We could put a bus in here. Now, what bus do we want? I, I'm always torn. The bigger buses are nice. The bigger buses are very nice because I do speed up things a little bit. Um, but we only have a certain amount of foreign work uh, workers available here at a time. Um, so that's hard to say. I think this, this one's my favorite because it can actually go the fastest once we have real roads. We're not going to have asphalt roads for a little while. Um, this one I like because of the, the actual size. These two are pretty much the same. Fourth out, no, let's just do two of these. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> um, and then give me maybe a road crane. Uh, we're just gonna start with one. Um, the speed only matters if you have more workers available than um, the speed of the crane, which we will not have for a little while. So one crane should be more than sufficient for our little setup there. Cool. Um, here, let's get our two open halts. Very good. And then let's get the excavators that we need with that. There you go. I don't think I want to deliver mechanism only with trucks right now because they also have to deliver uh, the materials. So there is that. What do we need here? We need a, a definitely need one of the bulldozers because it helps with your road construction. And then um, maybe a couple concrete mixers. We only have one available right now. That's fine. Three, honestly, concrete is one of those things that takes forever to, uh, to get going. What do we not have yet? Let's let it run for a little bit. And we do need a cistern sitting there. We can assign them to do something useful. Uh, just load here and unload there. 30% is probably fine for the gas station. There is one of our garbage trucks that we're gonna get into uh, soon, just not yet. Okay, they can figure out what they're doing. 
We have this construction office that doesn't have anything assigned yet and we haven't assigned any sources. We're just doing this and then we can just copy, 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 copy. Very good. Now all of them have the same uh, source buildings, which is very important. There you go. You can expand this. Um, don't forget to assign the construction office uh, group so you can actually find it later and then put it on a hotkey. And that makes your life a little easier in terms of what you need to build and how you need to build it. This is what we're building. Um, I think I want some more, some more flatbeds for the time being. We have buses, we have concrete, we have, oh, we can actually ask our construction office. What can we not get? Uh, the only thing we don't have is a helicopter. Everything else is assigned and ready to go. So this one is just a bonus. Once we figure out what we actually want, we can get that one um, moving. Um, and while we're here, there's no good reason why we can't just start building some better roads. So let's build a gravel road right in there because this is going to be the most used uh, gravel road section, most likely. And it's right next to the customs house, so may as well make it work. Yes, they can do their things. Beautiful. Um, we can actually go at faster speed because this construction is going to take a little while. And that is fine. Also the driving and all that stuff. I do have day and night mode uh, turned on, just in case you're curious, because night mode is beautiful. Um, but it's hard to watch when it's night, so I'm going to try to skip through the night mode when it happens at inappropriate times. But I hope uh, we're not going to run into that issue. I think there's one more thing I want to place here for right now. We're not going to build all of the construction industries. I, I know that for a fact, but I would like to add um, a gravel drop off and pick up. Because gravel is one of those things it will overload the station once we add more than three trucks, um, which is not good, especially once you have citizens. So we got to plan ahead just a little bit. So that's one of the aggregates that I'm actually going to add. Um, well, we all know the old school ones and they're fine. The newer buildings are <clears throat> prettier and they generally cost a little less steel. So that's what we're going to use. How about give me a little space there. That's fine. Is this where I want it? Can't tell. Maybe I want you the other way. Maybe I want you here and have to pick up on that side. Um, don't think about it too much. It's it's just a matter of a couple, couple meters probably. <laughs> um, yeah, you can just go right in here. Keep you nice and close. No, yes, no, yes. Uh, this is better. Putting something here makes more sense, and I think there's a high chance of me adding another construction office or something closer to um, the gravel pickup eventually. Hey, it's night. Let's run forward a little bit. So control one, if you don't have citizens, is safe. It's relatively safe. Once you do have citizens, it's no longer safe because it breaks the simulation, um, and you shouldn't, you shouldn't just, just don't play with it. <laughs> Don't play with fire. Let's get this one uh, the same thing as we did earlier. Get that one in, that one in. A nice little angle there and nice little angle there. And that's fine. And this is, in this case, this is just for uh, the construction zones or construction offices, but that's important too. Let's get you connected to gravel so they can pick up from there and that is fine. And it looks like you're getting a lot of steel already. I would like you to not worry about these auxiliary things uh, right away. But if you have a lot of vehicles parked here, then I definitely want you to worry about that. What's happening here? You don't have gravel. You must be assigned to something. But where are my gravel trucks? Did I really not buy uh, any gravel trucks yet? Is that what I, what I was missing? Mixer, 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 style the neck. Yes, gravel trucks. Uh, if that is our case, then we need four dumpers, please. <laughs> I thought I purchased them. Obviously, I didn't. So nothing is happening. And that's good that I checked. Someone probably put that in the comments before we got to this point. That's generally what happens. And that's generally sometimes nice. <laughs> sometimes it's just like, oh, I, I know. I know. I'm getting there. It's fine. Uh, but yes, now we have a nice spot here where we can put in our construction office. We have this space to do whatever we need to do there. That is all really, really good. Last thing I think that I want to do is set up waste. 
Okay, we have a lot of stuff that we can't get to yet. I don't know that I want to build the recycling industry out here. Right now, I just want to make sure that we have enough space to put our trash when uh, push comes to shove. So we're going to put this out here just as a um, space marker. Like how, how much space we need to, to make this one actually happen. Um, there is... Now, I was going to say there is part of me that says we could just make a direct connection to that thing, but there isn't a lot of construction related waste happening on the industries that don't have workers yet. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Um, maybe side note, do not use the small dumps without a crane or without a claw um, because they're only good to drop off stuff for industries so industries can pull it in. They're not good to load stuff on again. So if you're planning on moving things around, use the dump with the claw. Costs a little more money, but um, it's totally, totally worth the time and the, the effort and all that stuff. So this is good. Um, I think I would like to place a technical service office first. Um, and who knows, we may need two. So let's flip this one around, make it look a little nicer. Um, sure, right here, right here. Yeah, that's fine. Um, okay, we'll plop that one in there. Um, should we have that closer to to the road? I don't know. I mean, if, if I want to put something else here, then the answer is no. If I don't, then the answer is yes. So let's put that one there. Get me another technical service office here. You are far enough away from the water. Uh, is this close enough? I think that's 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 not even that's not even remotely close <laughs> um let's see one more try one more try just just one more try can i hide all that stuff yes i can is it approximately here oh that's pretty close i'm gonna leave that <laughs> i think i did pretty good there uh, let's make sure that none of this gets constructed right away because they are very very expensive night again let's run it forward just a little faster so our construction crews can actually work and that looks pretty, pretty good. How about we increase the priority on these guys just a teeny tiny bit because getting that speed up will be very, very, very important uh, once we get there. Okay, so we have these build or these things figured out. That's nice. Let's get another, another one of these. You will see these more often, uh, especially from me because these are super important on roads. Um, just to keep your speed up as much as you can because we're, we're going to increase our traffic on the roads um, immensely and that should help okay so that is all there and good to go great we're not done with waste yet are we no we're not um we need in the end we need about four of these um just to account for all the different um, waste materials that we can and uh, th that we could store here and that we may want to uh, move so uh, we're just going to have four of those and there's a little extra space there which is perfect because that means we can add a couple transfer stations can we add a couple here i i would not mind um doing that they're not perfectly located but i think i think this will actually work out pretty nice so yes, you're there. You, I, I, I don't want that factory connection down there. So um, let's just get rid of this guy. And then you will just be... Hmm. Yes, part of me thinks this is probably fine. Um, but it's not going to help. We, we really need this one to be directly connected to, uh, to the border. So they can just pick up from here and then just leave and get to the border. Uh, yeah, we're just going to leave it like that. I, I don't hate how this looks right now. So this is a good starting point, I think. We're gonna get some stuff in, that's very important. I don't have any distribution offices yet. There's a lot of space here, there's a lot of space here. There's just a lot of space in general. I did build two technical service placeholders <laughs> uh, for now because we need snow plows, we need some water probably. Um, we need uh, all the waste trucks, all of the waste trucks. There will be a lot. And yeah, this is just the initial planning phase without the city now. You're not even doing the city yet. Isn't that crazy? I, I think it's exciting, um, but at the same time, it is different. 
Uh, you, you, you cannot, you will have problems playing the way that you did before. Uh, one, one side tip that I found out when I did my testing season over on Patreon, which you're welcome to check out, um, is it doesn't take that long to need maintenance on road vehicles, especially if you have a lot of driving happening, a lot of driving distance in there. So you gotta prepare for that too. That's, that is going to happen. Look at those new wagons. It's, this is a NATO wagon. Um, there are very nice ones, very nice ones available. I guess there's a little speck of gravel here that we could use. There's a little, little mountain right there. Um, there's rail here. I'm looking around where I wanna put my city. And part of me thinks this is not terrible, not a terrible location for it. Um, your waste can produce pollution, so you don't want to get too close to that. But this, this feels pretty darn good. And there's another big gravel speck over there, so I don't have to, I don't have to save that speck of gravel for me if I absolutely want to. Okay, how about this? Um, right here. Um, do we have yes we have the meters on there i would like about a thousand meters that's not helping the way i'm doing that is not helping and i can't see at night and you can see at night we should probably look at a couple of our vehicles we don't need to ah okay can everyone just drop off what you just picked up because i don't want to waste all oh you came to that one great <laughs> i thought you came to this one um sadly I cannot tell all the buildings to uh, come in a do not build me state, um, but at some point that would be very nice. I could obviously tell my construction office to not have auto search, but that's lame. <laughs> okay, this building is what we're going to go from. Um, terrain tools, tool for measurement, click there and click until we're uh, 700 meters. Should be, should be fine for that because... If the industry is generally here, I will probably have a heating plant somewhere in this general vicinity. Um, hopefully with its with a shared um, drop-off, that should be helpful. Um, this should make sure that we don't have any, any crazy, um, what's it called? Pollution. Yes. So let's make this our cutoff for, for the town. It's not going to go past that. Okay. Yeah. And that's where we're going to leave it. Because town planning is a whole other beast. It's it's not super different, but it is... Well, this is going to take a while. And uh, I want to keep these episodes, especially the first five or so, shorter. So that planning is a little easier and you can figure out what you need. So this was all just for initial storage. Initial storage, that's all that was. So I hope you liked that one. I hope you liked the map. Um, if you hate it, you can tell me that you hate it, but we're still going to play on this one because I, I do like the random map. Sorry. Um, looks like there's some gravel done that we could expand on. Yeah, we'll figure that out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon uh, because there's a lot more to do, especially in the beginning, uh, before we're even semi-happy with anything that we have. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.